that it is uh, Riley Strain. The search for Riley Strain has ended tragically. Police announced that the 22-year-old's remains have been recovered March 22nd from the Cumberland River in West Nashville. This tragic ending comes two weeks after Riley went missing. The University of Missouri student was asked to leave country star Luke Bryan's bar in Nashville during a night out with friends March 8th. Metro Nashville's police chief John Drake reveals in a press conference how Riley's body was discovered and where authorities currently are in their investigation. As they were removing um, an object from the river, uh, they saw, they noticed uh, what appeared to be Riley Strain um, pop up. Uh, the fire department uh, was called in, um, retrieved the body from the river. Uh, the medical examiner's office uh, reviewed the body and we've confirmed uh, that it is uh, Riley Strain. Uh, the family uh, has been contacted. Uh, that if there are no signs of foul play at this time. There would be an autopsy uh, more than likely sometime today, and, uh, and we'll have a little bit further uh, from that point. One of Riley's friends had reported him missing to police March 9th, according to local news outlet WKRN-TV. Riley was last seen publicly a day earlier, out with his Delta Chai fraternity brothers while visiting singer Luke Bryan's 32 Bridge Food and Drink before being escorted out. TC Restaurant Group, which oversees Luke's bar, said in a statement March 15th, During Riley's visit to Luke's 32 Bridge, our records show he purchased and was served one alcoholic drink and two waters. At 9.35 p.m., our security team made a decision based on our conduct standards to escort him from the venue through our Broadway exit at the front of our building. He was followed down the stairs with one member of his party. The individual with Riley did not exit and returned upstairs. On March 12, police released surveillance video of the 22-year-old stumbling while crossing the street 12 minutes after leaving the venue. Riley's family then tracked his cell phone location to Gay Street and James Robertson Parkway, less than a mile from the bar, WKRN-TV reported. Later that week, police shared that they had found the college student's bank card at an embankment between Gay Street and the Cumberland River, and that it was the only physical evidence investigators had in the case. Riley is survived by his family, including his mother, Michelle Whittied, stepfather, Chris Whittied, father, Robert Gilbert, and stepmother, Millie Gilbert.